Hey everyone, welcome to a handful of daisies DIY. I'm Elaine. Today we're back in the workshop. I have a table that we're going to work on. Um, it's already been taken apart. You can see here. I had to take it apart to get it in my car when we picked it up. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it apart while we get started on it. So the first thing we're going to do is give it a good cleaning and then a scuff sand on the top. It is made of particle board, so I won't be able to uh, sand it down and stain it like I would like to do. So to get started, we're just going to use some Dawn dish soap and um, just a bucket of warm water and get it cleaned up really well. I do have it setting up on my Lazy Susan so I can get around all sides of the top really well. something with detail like this I would use my paint sprayer um, but I haven't been able to replace my air compressor yet so I'm gonna have to paint it with a brush and I do like the finish that's on this However, it is very scratched up and it has some places in it um, that <clears throat> there's no way to cover up and leave the finish the way it is, so we're going to have to paint it. So I'm going to rinse these off and then let them dry and then we'll get started painting. So I'm just going to take um, my sanding block with a very light grit sandpaper and just smooth out the pieces um, that have a little bit of a defect. Just so my paint goes on really smooth. And I'm not going to prime this piece. I'm hoping that it doesn't bleed through. If it does, I may have to come back and just add a little shellac on it. I can do that before I put my second coat on. why I love the Lazy Susan because you can turn it around so easy to work with it. So now we're ready to start painting. I'm gonna be using um, Dixie Belle's um, duck egg, uh, my angle brush, and the spritz bottle to smooth it out. So I'm just gonna start out on the bottom. I'm gonna wet my brush a little bit and then just give it a mist on the bottom. And 
I just love this duck egg. It's such a pretty color. Um, I've done quite a few pieces in this color. And everyone has sold really fast. seems to be covering pretty well, but we're not going to tell if it bleeds until it starts to dry. So I tell you, if you do any kind of DIY projects, whether it's refinishing furniture or um, home decor pieces, if you don't have a Lazy Susan, you really should get one. I usually start my projects upside down, but I think I'm going to be able to get um, underneath without having to turn it upside down. So for the top, I'm just going to spritz it a little bit and get the paint on and then I'll come back with long strokes to get it smoothed out. I'm using the spritz bottle. Helps give me time to put that paint on and smooth it out. Because it's really hot today and I do have the garage door open so it should dry pretty fast. And you guys, I didn't go out and buy an expensive spritz bottle. You can see this is just one of those Dawn uh, Power Wash bottles. I just cleaned it out really well and used it. Um, their spritz bottles are pretty expensive. And I think the whole purpose of redoing furniture, um, of course for me, is for resale. But in order to make the best possible profit, um, the less I spend on a project, the more profit I'm going to make. And if you're refinishing a piece um, for your own home, um, you, the whole purpose of refinishing a piece is one, to get the piece to match the decor that you want, and the other, have less cost in your piece. Right, I think I have that pretty well. I'm going to let that dry um, and then we'll start on the side pieces and um, the bottom shelf. So while the top is drying, we're going to get started on the side pieces. I know I'm going to put two coats on this, so I'm not worried about getting a really heavy coat on it for the first coat. And that will allow it to dry more quickly. And as you're doing the detail work, you just want to make sure that you're not getting a lot of drips, uh, which is easy to do. And you have these, this little detail. 
like I said, I'm just not doing a really heavy coat. Um, that way I can avoid those drips. I know I've had a lot of comments in um, some of my videos um, where not everyone likes the painted furniture. They like leaving um, the wood. But like I said before, this isn't wood. It's um, more press board. So I wasn't able to stain this one. Let me know in the comments below um, what do you think of painted furniture? It actually does sell better in my booth than the stained furniture. However, I do like to um, try to keep at least the top stained. But that's just not always something you can do. You can see I'm just putting very little bit of paint on my brush as I go in. Um, the inside here. If any of you um, refinished furniture, I'd love to know what brand of paint you use. Um, my go-to is usually Dixie Belle, but I have um, tried a few others as well. And I've had um, some people tell me that Dixie Belle is just too expensive um, but believe me it's worth it when you get a paint um, that gives you such a good end result. And I also think that um, most of the furniture paints uh, run about the same price. Um, this 16 ounce um, was um, $21.95 where I purchased it um, at by the season and where my booth is. And I am spritzing my, my brush with the water as I go, um, thinning it out just a little bit. That just kind of helps with the brush strips. So we're going to put this one to the side to dry before we turn it over to do the other side. So my top is not quite dry yet, so I can't move it off of my Lazy Susan. So I'm just going to use a couple of boards. Um, to start on the bottom shelf. Um, that way it's lifted up off of my surface so I can paint around the edges. I'm going to spritz it down a little bit again to thin out those brush strokes. I'm going to turn that around so I can get the other edge. If I did, do get any drips from doing the edges, I'll go back um, when it's all dry and I'll sand that out. So like I did with the top, I'm just going to get the paint on and then I'm going to go back and smooth it out. You can see I'm just doing really long brush strokes just all the way across. So I'm going to turn my table around. I do have wheels on the bottom of my work table so I can turn it around as well. So two good things to have, wheels on your work table and a Lazy Susan. Actually I need another Lazy Susan so when you're doing a project like this you have multiple to um, work on each piece. Now the one Lazy Susan I have, uh, my friend Donna gifted that to me. Um, thank you so much Donna, it has been a game changer for me. I am on the lookout um, for some additional ones. So it looks like we're good and dry on the top. So we're going to go ahead and give everything a second coat. It's very important to make sure that everything dries really well before you put your second coat on so you're not pulling off that paint from your first coat. And I am using my spritz bottle to water it down a little bit so it smooths out really well. I'm just spritzing it because I don't want to 
water it down too much because this paint is water based and I don't want it pulling off my first coat. And every time I paint with this duck egg, it reminds me of one of my earlier videos, the piece dresser I was doing. And I wasn't careful with my paint, and when I was turning the piece around, I spilt the paint everywhere. If you haven't seen that video, um, I'll link that down below for you. I have had my share of mishaps. It happens to everybody. You can see on this end, I tried to go out instead of coming in. That way I don't get all that paint dripping on the end. Okay, we finished up our second coat on all the pieces. Um, you can see I've used maybe a third of this paint. So we have quite a few more furniture pieces that we can paint with this color. Um, so the $21.95 I paid for it actually is a good value because it goes a long way. So we're just going to let all of this dry and then for those of you who don't like distressing, um, you probably don't want to watch any further because I am going to distress the pieces just around the edges. And then we'll put it all together and I'll show you what the final result is. Alright, so everything's good and dry. Um, now I'm going to just distress the edges. Um, we did get a really good coverage. Um, there was no bleed through, so I didn't have to um, do the shellac in between coats. So I'm going to use a combination of my very light grit sanding block and uh, a wet wipe just to get those edges to come through. Um, I don't want to heavily distress it, um, but just breaking through with my sanding block um, and then using my wet wipe to come back and pull it off as well. Sometimes when you have that um, second coat, it does take a little bit of um, sanding um, to get through some of that paint. Like I said, I, I don't want to distress it really heavy, just a little. And that wet wipe is also going to help smooth down. Um, the paint where the sanding block may be making it a little, a little rough. So I'm going to go ahead and do along the bottom a little bit as well. I'll try to get 
Try to give you a little bit of a closer look at that. That looks pretty good on the top. So I'll go ahead and do that to all the pieces and then put a top coat of the wax on it. Now that we have all this distressing done, I'm going to um, use um, Dixie Bell's uh, Besting Wax as a top coat on everything. Just going to put it on and then I'll let it set for a few minutes and then I'll wipe it back. is um, clear wax. Um, sometimes I use a uh, mix a little white paint in it to make it a white wax. I'm gonna see how this looks first with clear um, but I may go back and add a little white wax as well. <clears throat> Since this is a table I want to make sure I Get a good coat on it and let it dry. So it's once it dries, it'll be really durable. <laughs> Normally on the tabletops, I would use um, polyacrylic, but I'm out of polyacrylic right now, so we're just gonna go with the wax. So I got it all put back together and here's a look at how it turned out. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this piece. Also want to take a minute to thank all of you who have subscribed to my channel. Thanks so much for joining our DIY family. I really appreciate you all and all of the comments that you have shared with me. I appreciate those. Even if you don't agree with the project I've done, I do appreciate your feedback. So if you're not yet subscribed, I would love for you to join our DIY family by hitting that subscribe button and don't forget the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. You'll also find me on Facebook and Instagram at A Handful of Daisies Home Decor. Thanks so much for watching today and I'll see you next week for another DIY.